So, <clears throat> I gotta take these fucking things out. This is coming out. So, Nina and I have been getting a lot of backlash regarding the view segment that we did the other day. And, um, of course, I have a few things to say. No, it's terrible. Um, number one, Megan McCain is an ally. She is. Y'all love to pick and choose and decide when an ally is, is convenient for you. That's not how life works. That's not how the universe works. She is an ally. Megan McCain has done a lot for the LGBTQIA plus community um, on the front lines of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, Prop 8. She was for gay marriage and gay adoption way before a lot of these fucking politics, way before Obama evolved on the idea of gay marriage. And Megan McCain was there before him. Um, and she was she, she was awarded by, by GLAAD, by the Harvey Milk Foundation. Harvey Milk, the foundation, they're not out here giving a, giving awards away like fucking Tic Tacs, okay? It's not Halloween. Everybody don't get one. So they, so she is an ally. She is. You can't fucking change that, y'all. And also, yes, Meghan McCain's husband is fucking problematic. 100. 150%. But to hold Meghan, to blame Meghan for her husband's behavior is, one, very misogynistic. That's not how life works. You can't, blaming women for what their husbands are doing. Bitch, this ain't 1902. We're not there, okay? Being on The View does not mean that I endorse all of Meghan McCain's views. We probably disagree probably 90%. But the fact is that I can still have tolerance. I can still have the decorum to, 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 to want and to have a conversation. If you isolate everyone on the other side, you will never, ever, ever have the chance to change their minds, okay? Meghan McCain brought two drag queens on ABC, on Disney, on The View, okay? One being of color. Hello. So you know what I mean? So you have to think, the people who watch The View, the men, the I think I think it's predominantly women, correct me if I'm wrong, but these black, Asian, white, purple women who are at home who probably aren't the most LGBTQIA plus friendly are watching this and being like, hey, those drag queens are not those scary AIDS-infected monsters who are trying to corrupt our children. You know what I mean? Like, you are, it's, 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 it's these little battles that help us to increase tolerance and not this superfluous shit that y'all are trying to do on Twitter. Who knows? Because of this now, ABC and The View, they'll be open to having more drag queens, more trans people, more more gay men, more lesbians, more non everything. Like, all these little things are, are little bad in a big fight for more representation and more access and us being there now Whoopi invited us to be co-hosts now we can have a seat at the table and have bigger conversations have actual conversations like y'all are mad because we went out there and pushed out a fucking cake we pushed out a cake you know what I'm saying and we gave her some goddamn boots now the, the, the marquee I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she know honorary rude girl that's the real team <laughs> but you know what I'm saying we pushed out a cake y'all are like so, so to think that Nina and I have abandoned all of our morals because we went on ABC and pushed out a cake that we're these disgusting people who deserve to be fucking shot in the back. Uh, uh, according to y'all, uh, we became Make America Great Again people and we have just, we have abandoned the LGBTQ. Like, y'all are really on one. Y'all are really, really on one, bitch. I can't. Also, this is typical identity politics. I, I a lot of y'all are in the DMs and in the thing talking about, but she's a Republican. Not all Republicans are vile, nasty, evil people. Just like all not all Democrats are good, amazing people either. Like y'all are stuck on this. Oh, she's but she but but Monet, she's a Republican, and she's still an ally. She is still a fucking ally. Grow up. Also, don't be questioning people's activism, bitch, okay? I probably have more activism in this pinky than you do in your whole body, okay, bitch? <laughs> With my platform, I try to have lots of trans representation on my talk show, interview trans people, have them perform, and talk about queer stories on my show all the time. While your activism is probably in the bottom of a fucking napkin next to your computer after a fucking Sean Cody movie. Don't try it. Just because you're gay don't make you an ally. That's a word. That's tea. Speaking of trans representation, I I interviewed the lovely Shakina Nafak um, from Transparent and um, um, uh, Difficult People. So swipe up to watch that episode.